volunteers for the Tear God Salt for the Salt Throne and Gas the Leaf Tribe. So I caught the last 10 minutes of the McLean's and City TV national leaders debate. I will watch the rest of it, but considering the two leaders from whom we need to hear weren't actually there, one not invited and the other too chicken to debate, and judging from what I heard, I don't think I really need to watch the rest of it. Like when I jumped in, Jagmeet Singh was gesturing accusatorily and slamming Andrew Scheer for not hating Donald Trump. Shortly after, Elizabeth May was gesturing accusatorily and slamming Andrew Scheer for not loving Palestinian terrorists. And Andrew Scheer sitting there going, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the also left of me. Trudeau must go, am I right, guys? Am I right? This is the state. This is the state of our fucking debates. You know this courage and despair. And the closing statement, 90 second bids for your vote were fucking hilarious. Like, Elizabeth May's closing bid was something along these lines. Please. Please vote for me. Just, please. Like, would you even consider, consider voting green, please. Please. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You have to watch it. It was so fucking weird. <laughs> and Andrew Shears was, of course, I'm not Justin Trudeau. I'm not, really. I'm not him. Look. Not even vaguely handsome. I'm not Justin Trudeau. <laughs> exactly what you'd expect. And Jagmeet Singh's, like, I had said before that... Jagmeet Singh was uncharismatic. I was wrong. Jagmeet Singh is anti-charismatic. Like, he's trying so hard to be charismatic that he just comes off like a complete asshole. Like, he's douchier than Hassan Piker. And that's, that's a fucking win in my books. <laughs> Takes a lot to out-douche that guy. And his final bid was basically, Who's gonna take care of you? Who's gonna look out for you? Who the fuck you think's been looking out for me? Me, you dumb shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? So, clearly I've been taking some liberties to make jokes, but everything I've told you about what I saw in the debates is more or less true. Uh, Jagmeet Singh was slamming Sheer for not condemning Trump for Trump's handling of the migrant crisis and the separation of children from their parents as they crossed the border from... Mexico into the United States. But what Andrew Scheer didn't say, because he's weak, was that that's what happens. Parents who are arrested for committing a crime get separated from their children. Simple enough to say, and true. But he didn't say it. And they discussed a Palestinian organization that's known for radicalizing people into anti-Semites and, and terrorists. And Elizabeth May said, oh, those are just schools. They're just schools. I was there, she said, and she was in Palestine and saw these Palestinian children throwing rocks at Israeli border guards who are just armed to the teeth. And what Andrew Scheer didn't say, because he's weak, was, who do you think is radicalizing those children and teaching them to throw rocks at armed Israeli border guards? And what do you think will happen when those Palestinian children become adults? Do you think they'll just go, Hey, I was a kid, I did silly things. Or do you think they'll trade up from rocks to Molotov cocktails and other deadly weapons? Simple enough to say, and true, but he didn't say it. This was the far left twat and the farther left twat versus the near left 
Melba Toast twat, who Andrew Shear was, I'm sure, trying to appear calm and collected, but he just seemed tired and sick. And maybe he was sick, but he just came off as completely unenergetic, as if unable to cope with the assault from, I want to say both sides, because they were literally framing him on the stage, but the assault from one side and the farther side there. But he just seemed exhausted. And like he didn't really want to be there. And you know what? I, I also understand that because without uh, Trudeau on the stage, why the fuck does he want to be there? If Trudeau's not there, he's the next big target. And without Maxime Bernier, it's not a fucking party. <laughs> if Maxime Bernier was there, that stage would have been lit, buddy. Oh, so maybe the next one, let's keep uh, hashtagging those things. What we want Max in, let Max speak, that crap, whatever, whatever the fucking new hashtag that Twitter's not suppressing is. But uh, yeah, I'll watch the rest of it and I'll get back to you in a timely fashion because my upload rate is not spotty or anything like that. I... <laughs> But for now, I'm going to have another drink and play some video game and hopefully record it and post it up to the gaming channel. Irving Twin Gaming, if you're interested. Uh, yeah, but there's only like one video up there and it's not a very good channel, so I wouldn't bother if I was you. But anyway, all right. Thanks for watching. Wish, uh, wish all Canadians in Canada luck because apparently we fucking need it with our goddamn Melba Toast debates with literally no federal leader involved in the debate <laughs> I was fucking sad it's just sad relevant links to shit I said in the description maybe I'm Irving Twain like, subscribe or don't it's a free country at least it used to be. They would silence us?